But it's kind of hard to refute when there's a witness. He said West, so doesn't that mean... Brother, I am not hunting a dragon. No stinking way. They can ask Gar or Mio or somebody else who won't get turned into roast giblets in three seconds. Well, they're gonna need an escort, at least. Hey, what's wrong? Something ha- Oh, Commander, you're not gonna believe this, sir, but there's been a dragon sighting. Yeah, and it sounds like it's behaving erratically. A hunter found it in the woods, and while it didn't attack, it wasn't too friendly when he tried to approach. Hmm, okay. Probably should take care of that. Do you know the location? Yeah, it's the... What do you call that road the Guardians use? The uh, old road, the elbow... Oh, I hate geography. Anyway, it's out in that direction, sir. <laughs> the Eld Road. Got it. Thanks for stepping in, sir. The hunter who reported the sighting mentioned a glow that looked like raw lens. You might want to take along an expert on that. Raw lens. Who would know the most about that? I heard you guys talking. A dragon imbued with raw lens? That could be very interesting. Mind bringing me along when you go investigate? Well, there's the dragon we heard about. Whoa, okay, okay. It doesn't want anyone near it, that's for sure. And I'm not pushing my luck. Whoa, just look at that shine. I know what's happening here. This is spontaneous lensosynthesis. Spontaneous what now? Raw lens is pure condensed magic, right? It's what powers the rune lenses. In today's world, we only know how to use it as a power source, but there used to be technology that let people craft finished rune lenses from the raw material. One theory is that the people who built the rune barrows had that technology. Anyway, Sometimes raw lens is created spontaneously inside the ground, or, in rare cases, inside living things. So, okay, then the reason the dragon is shining... ...is because raw lens spontaneously formed inside it, no question. But there's one icky little problem. What's that? It's lost control of itself, and it's really pissed off. <laughs> you picked the wrong fight. Mine! Yeah! A walk in the park. <laughs> Did we beat it? Beat a dragon? Oh, you're funny. Forget the fact that it's a dragon imbued with raw lens. It just needed someone to snap at. My guess is that it was struggling with the anger welling up inside and it needed a way to vent. And there's your proof, see? It's calmed down a little. I think it's starting to adjust to the lens. Adjust? Right, so, one of the side effects of spontaneous lensosynthesis is that it triggers a kind of power surge at first. The host loses control of itself. But, if the host manages to adjust, then the power becomes its own, a natural extension of its own body. The bigger and tougher the host, the more room that power has to grow. That said, our bodies don't always play nice with us. There's always a chance the raw lens could trigger another surge. So, it has to live with that? Forever? Uh, huh? What's happening? Uh? Noah's lens absorbed the raw material? Whoa there. 
I'm glad you're in better spirits. That's a good dragon. My name is Noah. What's yours? Chandra? That's a beautiful name. A uh, girl? You're, you're a girl? Okay. Hey, I'm sorry if we hit you too hard. Uh, I think you're the one who's punch drunk. You're talking to dragons now? When I made contact with Chandra's lens, I could sort of... sense a little bit of what she's thinking. I don't know. Maybe I imagined it. Really? You want to come along with us? Uh, yes, of course. That would be amazing. <laughs>